Hi, my name is Jason Kozakowski, and this is my story. I never found a relationship with God like I kind of desired. Through my whole life, I've just, I haven't really searched for God. I've always been curious, peeking around corners. You can basically look at it like it's a, uh, like it was a pool. And I wasn't someone to just jump in. I was stick my toe in first and then maybe make it to my ankle and make it to my shin. I've never just dove in head first and, and found that relationship. I did meet a very beautiful person and inside and out, and she later became my wife. She's the one who introduced me to the roads. And from that point on, I've, I've been a member and we both have served here. Fast forward to uh, Father's Day weekend and uh, it was gonna be my job to watch the kids. Still dealing with Corona and not being able to take children to services. I found out that the only way to win a Traeger grill was to be present. I was like, okay, I'm going. I mean, I, I asked my parents and they were able to watch our kids. And I go to first service and it's absolutely great. Loved it. You know, I kind of told myself that, you know, I'll just, I'll just stay until, until the drawing and, you know, I'll leave. Uh, the ticket number was 734-128. And every time I get a 28, it was the same number I had in football and I, I believed it to be my lucky number. So this was my lucky ticket. When I sat down, we started service and the first up was baptisms and the whole time through the baptisms, what was going on in my mind was, is man, you still, you haven't been baptized. You're, you're still knee deep, waiting on a, waiting on a sign. And an older gentleman got baptized and he dedicated it to a common friend that we had and someone who we'd lost. So this whole time, what I was picturing was just running, just running up on that stage and just, baptize me just get it over with like I want I want everything washed away and I want something new so anyways I'm, I'm I'm trying to get myself back together and they get over and we you know start praising worship and things are going great and I had a feeling like I was being told I needed to raise my hand I was wondered what it was you know what it what it meant to do that and uh I actually I just looked it up, and uh, when people raise their hands during worship at church, whether they know it or not, they are admitting that they are weak and without any power aside from the power they receive through the Holy Spirit. They praise God by physically and publicly demonstrating to Him that they need Him. That was a problem for me because I was, you know, I was a tough guy. I'm strong, I'm tough, don't show emotion, and I did, I, I listened, and it was the first time in my life that I raised my hand in praise and just allowed that, that, that weakness and to show that I love my God. And I stuck my hand here and I just started crying. My side starts hurting and it feels like something has a hold of my hand. And it's holding my arm extended as far as I can. I just I hurry up and rip my arm down and... I was like, what in the world was that? Chad started talking about, you know, what what Jesus went through being crucified and having the hair pulled out of his chin, a crown of thorns on his head. Kept thinking like, man, I, he did all this for you and you won't even get baptized. I actually thought at one point, I was like, well, I can, I can go through this and I can still be a Christian and I'll get baptized. And then it like, it hit me that, well, Jesus got baptized, so why wouldn't you? So all these all these thoughts about this continue just going through my head, trying to figure things out, trying to make a make a reason for things that were going on. Chad's word of knowledge that he had, he closed his eyes and actually allowed the Holy Spirit to tell him a word of knowledge. You have the name Jason. I know what God's uh, wanting to speak to you specifically, but I feel like for you, Jason, you're searching. 
you're, you came searching for certain, certain answers or maybe you're watching, searching for certain, certain answers and God said that he is re revealing this truth to you, your next step is the one that you already know. There's a step that you're already aware of and you're not taking and I feel like the Holy Spirit is encouraging you, Jason, step out in what you know and the unknown will be no revealed to you next. I just pray that you follow that lead as the Holy Spirit guides you. He, he called me out by name and I was like... And then he kept just he kept going and thinking. He could see that something was changing on his face. And uh, he, he said, what you're searching for, you already know the next step. And I'm just, I just lost it. I just kind of panicked. And I, I was the first one out of that church. And when I got to my truck, I completely broke down. I didn't win a grill, but it definitely was my lucky day. It's exactly what I needed to actually jump in the pool. So if any of you strong-willed members of the church are out there and haven't done the next step and you know what it is, don't waste any time. You know what the next step is. Just do it. Step out in faith. Come on, Jason. First up is Jason Kazakowski. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And Jason says today the reason he wants to be baptized is because he says that God called him by name and assured me of his presence in my life. accepted Christ in your heart. The reason he called your name out is because he's been hunting you, been tracking you, and he's going to show you an, a level of love that you never experienced before. And as you go down under, the reason he was wanting you to get baptized is because he was wanting to immerse you in something. You dabbled, you mentioned knee deep. He says, I'm going to cover you in something. It's going to cover your life. It's going to cover your past, your hurts. Anything, anything that you've tried to hide, he's going to cover that with the blood of Jesus and with his redemption. He loves you, brother. He's proud of you. You ready to get baptized? All right. I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of his son, Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's amazing. 